Okay, we are getting started. It's gonna be a wild one. I can feel it, it's gonna be wild. I wanna show you guys before we get started. This is selenite. This is the selenite I carry with me every day. Look at the difference. It's hilarious, right? Look at that. This is what it started out as. Even this one is slightly rubbed in a little. Yep. It's me. Hi. <laughs> okay. If you know, you know. If you don't know, don't worry about that reference. Oh shit, hold on, I'll be right back. I forgot I need to take a bunch of some, uh, my meds. Sorry about that. Okay. Uh, for anybody, um, I'm gonna do the Q&A video probably Saturday or Sunday. So if you didn't already put questions in, I will link to that Q&A video below and you can click on that and put your questions in the comments. Um, try to get them in by Saturday. If who cares, next time, I'll just do them next time. You know what I mean, if I don't get them this time. Okay. Now that all the official business is done, I'm Denise. <laughs> no, it's getting me too much out of the flow to say all this weird stuff. All right, hold on. have the Muse deck. Hmm. Look at it now, put it back in. The Hermit, Virgo energy. Look at that though. It's like the sun is both behind and in front, like they've become one. And now this figure is just a beacon of light. This is, so this is, it's introspection and it's reflection. But I keep hearing precipice, but that's, hold on. Dude, if I'm gonna have to stop this and go take, like, go change my clothes. <laughs> I don't normally have all these things that are like tight and annoying, you know what I mean? Sometimes, but it's the end of the day and I don't want these things on, okay. So there's maybe something. It's about alignment. This is about alignment. That's the core of what this reading is going to be about. It's the still cultivating how to be a more in aligned, more aligned container for yourself and for source energy, vessel. You know what I mean? You're really, really far. It's almost like, it's like you went back into Hermit. You were out and you're going back in. Do you know what I mean? Because you're like, okay. Devotion. It's definitely a recognition, but it's also a becoming, but it's also a
gratitude, but that's not the word. A humbling, a humble, a humble. There's humility. Is that the word? Integrity? Does humility mean like you... Does humility mean humble? I mean humble. So if it doesn't mean the same thing, then I don't mean humility. I mean humble. And what I mean by that is recognizing that you are one with everything and that you are also nothing and that nothing is, you are not greater than every, than anything and you are, everything is greater. <laughs> you feel where I'm trying to go, right? It's Sophia. It's the, I am the whore and the holy one. If there's a Gnostic, G-N-O-S-T-I-C text called, uh, Thunder, perfect mind. And it is about Sophia, who is the Holy Spirit in the Trinity um, in Gnosticism. And three, the, the source separated into three. And Sophia is the energy that is the Holy Spirit or the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. Mary Magdalene is Sophia, Jesus, right? Sophia's mission is to reconnect other souls with the source. I am the whore and the holy one. That's how that starts. Because it's this and that are true. Look, to have two of wands on the bottom. Yeah. There's a step out of your comfort zone. You're down to take it, but there's a little bit There's definitely resistance. What's the resistance from? This is reading as tunnel vision. The, or there's just one strong theme, one strong I don't know how to explain this. There's a frequency you're plugged into. This is sound right. Um, and it rep and it is a frequency of something that's holding you back. There's this one significant last hole to fill. That's not right. It's not a severing, it's a closing off. It's like closing. It's not like locking and it's not quarterizing and it's not alchemizing. It's laying to rest again, which is every fucking reading, right? But it's, but in this, now we've moved from laying to rest to closing a door. A boundary. The force field is shifting. That's what's going on. And this isn't going to come. So that's where a lot of you are or yeah or coming out of we all are there somewhere whatever your level is depends on you but um high priestess is underneath it which goes right with the hermit because that's silent the high priestess is mute because the high priestess is the raw energy that gets transmuted into the empress But your intuition is definitely present, trying to be present. It's there, but you are maybe, you're not fully plugging into it or you're not fully f syncing up with it yet. Put it that way. Not that you're fitting in, not fitting in, but that the sync is a little bit off, right? You feel me?
Well, these guys just wanted to come out. Okay, hold on. Hold on. This is the White Witch Tarot. It's only, it's Major Arcana only. Okay. Oh, hilarious. Okay. The Hierophant, the Hangman. There's keys in that one, in the Hierophant. Again, again with the, I put it away, but do you remember the original Hermit? With that gold? And this one it's reaching for. but to pull it into, right? Like that, like the figure was in that other hermit. I'm saying the other hermit because you know what came out? The Wheel of Fortune and the hermit sideways going into the reverse. So two different decks, but whatever is going on right now is is being guided. It's divine guidance. It's, it's, it's meant to happen. This is meant to happen, even if it feels so painful or so scary. There's another side to that and you're aware of it. You, that this is the universe saying to you, you need to embody that side more, make that more in alignment. I don't know about using the word need, but that's the guidance right now is to step more into that, allow it into you, which has to do with the hermit. It's a recognition of divinity, of magic, of ancestor, ancestry, of what the of what life force is. It's all of that. It's Akashic records for some of you. It's it's all kinds of it's whatever it is. It's definitely tapping into the ancient, but now it's pulling it into the three D. And it's causing you to be to to question, like look at things around you differently. Now you're you're trying to look for different solutions. And and you're able to recognize, hey, I need to implement something here. And it requires going within a little bit longer. There's a little bit more where you need to be a little sturdier to be able to hold whatever is right there. I'm not going to say that the opportunity was missed, but what I, because it wasn't missed, but I think that something coming in slightly took a detour um, because you weren't fully ready to hold it yet, but it's still not totally out of, it's not out of your sight. You feel me? It's, this is meant to happen. And this is the purpose of this is to go inward even deeper and kindness with, for yourself and develop something deeper that's going to help support you in your moving forward into fully stepping into your fullest self. You know what I mean? And becoming that. It's allowing yourself to process too. Allowing yourself. To feel so there's this woman named Jane or Joan I'm not sure she's an older woman she's a psychologist she's or a therapist I saw her on a YouTube show this dude Lewis Howells I think his name is he like interviews people um, and it's always like self-helpy different type how to succeed stuff but it's all stuff that's dope um, and there's always good stuff to learn from it and she was talking about 90 seconds that is how long the uncomfortable feeling comes in, 90 seconds, and that most of us try to avoid that, right? And that's how all these other things turn into, all these behaviors turn into patterns and toxicity, you know what I mean? Avoidance and all that stuff. But it's 90 seconds, and, and it might be multiple 90 seconds, but it'll only last 90 seconds. You just have to get through that 90 seconds. And um, so that, 
for me and I've been doing it if I'm feeling really sad I let myself feel it and I say this is only 90 seconds this is only going to feel this way for 90 seconds fully immerse yourself while staying aligned but let it wash over you and let yourself just you know let it be coming through you like wind you know what I mean like leaves in the wind you're just watching you're like you're feeling it and you're watching it but you're not let you're not holding on to it, defining yourself with it, identifying with it, or trying to push it away because it's going to come and go. You know what I mean? And it's been helping. It helps me. So maybe it'll help some of y'all too. I don't know. Okay. Energy is shifting. I'm not sure. This is all tarot. And I do have Oracle. Oh, yes. The Oracle of E. This is an interesting deck, so let's see what happens. But this one, oh, we also have the Work Here Light Oracle. Ooh. Whoa. We're probably gonna use both. That was weird. Why, why? <laughs> the Romance Angels, do you hear me? I'm like, no, I don't want those, but I just got done that whole spiel, right? This stuff like doesn't go away. Like you still get affected. It's just how you deal with it changes. Oh God, it's these, hold on. Is it? Playfulness and it is safe for you to love. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So it is, it's about transitioning into that. That hermit, part of what's going to come out of your hermit mode is your inner child is going to be more present, which means you're going to more fully embody who you really are. Like if you've been masking yourself, if you've been pretending, if you've been protecting yourself, you've done a lot of work and you're letting all those shells go. You know what I mean? You're stepping more into you. And this is directly connected to love and to being open and really being open and vulnerable. You know what I mean? In a loving way, like in a love connection of whatever that is family, whatever. It can be whatever, but it's that. Let's see what's underneath them. Reconciliation. Some of your past is returning to your life. That's under it is safe for you to love. And keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations for playfulness. So what that card says to me is you are not the same you. If you're worried about who you're going to attract or if you're going to be able to, to like, if somebody's going to like take advantage of you again, this is saying you don't need to have, carry those worries with you anymore. Because you're not the same you. You're not vibrating at the same frequency. And you might lower sometimes, but you don't stay down anymore. Each time it gets less and less and some of you aren't even staying, some of you aren't even going down that way anymore. You went up and now you're, that's your low. You know what I mean? You're all wherever you are, but the centralized truth is, is I'm losing it. But I feel like I said it. So the reconciliation, healing family issues is under that, which would tie in with the Hierophant and everything else. I think the reconciliation in this case, and it's going to be different for everyone, but even if there is a person you're separated from, I, what I'm feeling more strongly than anything else, it's reconciling yourself. This and that are true. That you can fully love someone and not be with them. And that that's okay.
I think too, for some of you, it's like recognizing once and for all that whatever you, whatever covenant you made in another lifetime or whatever obligations your soul had, you have fulfilled them. To this situation, yes, there might be others in life that still, you know what I mean? But with this specific one, you have fulfilled them. There's something happening, hold on. All right, it's telling me to pull this, so let's see what that is. Cool, we're going with that guy. Entangled, 13, which is, isn't that death? Yes, hmm, entangled, entangled, entangled. GPS is under that. I thought I was gonna, I'm gonna look at those, 13 and 15. Open your presence. What? 13 and 15, though. Okay. You would probably call what's about to happen synchronicity or maybe even coincidence. Au contraire. The big truth is you are already connected to everything and everyone. Well, hey, didn't we already go through that, right? Quantum physics has its own name for it, entanglement. The reason it appears that all ducks are lining up on your behalf right now is because you're finally paying attention. Let the games begin. There we go. So just those few little wobbly spaces in your energy field that need to be fortified. That's what the universe is saying right now, starting right now. Double hermits, remember? There's a little bit of resistance of the, I mean, it's not resistance consciously, but it is, it is, there's a delay because of an attachment still, a resistance to release an attachment. And if that, just let that sit and see where that could fit, where that definition could fit into your life and where it would be relevant. You know what I mean? It might not have occurred to you like that you're attached to something or what that really means fully to you. You know what I'm saying? Like that might be the hangman too to like open up the perspective. GPS, OMG, your intuition is, a, is being a real show off these days. It's so ready to help navigate your life and quite frankly, it's getting a tad bit impatient. It just can't understand why when it knows the fun, the wheel. Easy route, you insist on doing everything without its help. There's no need to be lost ever, especially now that you're about to stumble onto a gold mine. It is safe for you to love and playfulness. That inner child, keep healing the inner child and then keep allowing that inner child to show itself in your now body, in your now self. You know what I'm saying? Well, this one was actually not super long. I'm like, wait, did I start over? I did, but I think that wasn't very long. So yay for this. That's wonderful. Cause it's like close to my bedtime. So this works out. It's an example of going with the flow and allowing yourself. And really when you do it and you plug into it, um, you just have to try your best. You don't have to succeed all the way. I'm trying my best right now to stick to the schedule that is best for my body with sleeping and all my medications and all these other things. And I'm doing the best I can. There is still room for growth, but I'm not sliding backward. And so what I've noticed now, and it's been like fully in this level of it, I don't know, for at least three days, but I feel like longer than that. But it's been building up to where it is. I lost it. Mm. <laughs> I remember the flow adjusts to you. I used to worry that it wouldn't. It does. It does. So take this as an affirmation, okay? And take this reading as a confirmation. 
and just check for when you need validation because there's a difference between all those things. All right, and with that, ciao, ciao, and thank you, and I will see y'all whenever I see you again. Till then.